So we're back again. This time everything's all dry. We're filled in the edges. And the next step is going to apply some static grass. So we've got a couple of different colours of static grass here, which is irrelevant to the colour because we're going to paint it anyway. So and you can all get different lengths, different companies do different lengths from two mil, three mil, six say, mil. Two mil. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is gonna be quite short. <clears throat> but you can obviously go up. Problem you've got is if you're using one of these, these will only do to a certain length before it gets stuck in the the wire. The wire or the or the mesh. Mm -hmm. So again you can, which we will be demonstrating as well, make some longest tufts with the uh, seagrass. Mm -hmm. But we will cut around this. So we've got a much podge. All right, probably need the overhead on. Number two. All right, we'll shift that out of the way. Mm -hmm. so just before I think, I've loaded up our applicator. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is just get some of the Mod Podge and then we're just going to make little islands, I think is a good way of putting this. Because what I don't want is to look like a carpet right, so just demonstrate on quite a bit as well you want it to stick so you want it quite thick So we're just adding the Mod Podge yeah. down long. They just say like little islands, just in case it didn't record just then. <laughs> yeah, you just want it like a blanket carpet. It's just all right. So we'll do this block first. Mm -hmm. them now. So if you get one of these or you want one, basically this one's a battery operated one. So my assistant here is just going to earth this. Mm -hmm. And then we have this little button here. So when you press it, you will get a the little blue light. I don't want to tip it up because we're going to lose some. Right. So if you hold that, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Then when we're earthed, go. Okay. So I've charged it up, and then what we do is we just shake, shakey, shakey. Mm -hmm. Move it over. Get a good coat on it. Okay. Wow. All right, so well, that'll do. Uh -huh. Just charge that. All right. If you want to go to a another the number one on there, Matt. Yeah. You can show the. Hopefully, you can see that. What I'll do is I'll take a little shot in a minute. Yeah. And uh, to show it, because actually I'm looking across it, and you can properly see it all standing up. Yeah. And what we'll do now it is like Action Man's head. It does actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's a yeah, that's a good uh, a good way of putting it. Again, so the box is to catch all the excess excess over spill, whatever you want to call it. Put it on with a bigger box because we put the base on. You do, you do get a lot. Shall we take it off? I would take it off that. Like That's going to be better. That. Right, it's okay. Bigger. And then you tip it upside down. Give it a good old tap. Mm -hmm. All right. And then where you've put your glue is where it sticks. Is where it sticks. Now, obviously, if you've got different lengths, you can go mm -hmm. uh, longer, which, again, I, I didn't realise. I bought some other lengths. I've got some different ones. But we'll we'll stick with this um, with this length for now anyway. And like I say, because uh, we've not blank carpeted it and it's all even and nice, you're getting that, you know, that nice mix of, like, sort of earth in between where the grass is grown. And, obviously, if you want to add foliage, bushes, mm. anything yeah. else, you just add. So... Always start off with like a shorter length and then you can always move up go to it, yeah. You know, go to longer it. grass. Mm. So Excellent. and then obviously what's in here we'll just recycle back into the mm -hmm. it's still quite a bit in there oh, to go. So, so we can make so. some more. So do you want to blast, do you want to play? Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it is a messy um process. So like I say, you do wanna Pop it in the box. Yeah, well, you want to pop it in a box, yeah, like I say, or something, just to catch to catch what's left and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, right. If you, I'll tell you what, I'm all using glasses because clearly yeah. I can't see a thing. I'm going to put your yeah. number two back on. Mm -hmm. so, Look, God, I'm dripping. Right. dripping. Oh, I'm so, we'll use that. on that. 
Okay, so let's try and have it on. Yeah, we'll put it over the back because then that will yeah. blend that in as well. Yeah. Yeah, I must admit, I didn't realise it was easy as that. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting. But... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, that's uh, really... It's quite a nice gravelly bit. I quite like that, so I'm going to avoid that. Yeah. Again, it's all getting artistic now. Is that the right amount of glue? Yeah, plenty of glue, yeah. Dry clear anyway, so. Mm -hmm. And like we say, this stuff also dries flat, matte flat. Matte flat. Matte flat. So, matte flat. Matte flat. Mm. Which is uh, quite good. <clears throat> Clip edge. How we do we sprinkle sprinkle them so i'll charge you up <laughs> right so right. yeah no, tip it upside down Got yeah it. right so you hold oh, that you hold it right right the so best thing to do yeah. is hold it over there because anything will right. over spill okay. right you've charged that yeah and flip it over mm -hmm. quick and shake it i'm kind of missing the box but you know what i mean so keep going until it's empty mm -hmm. Go. That'll do. It's bad empty anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then pick it out of the box and uh, just Give it a knock off the mm -hmm. excess. Right. Yeah, like that. That's it. Let's see what you've got. There you go. Look at that. That's actually, I must admit, I'm amazed with that. It's brilliant. So, hopefully, you can, if I get it on the edge, you can see how it actually stands. That side's clearly better. <laughs> but you can see actually how it's stood up. Say, so it looks like Action Man's head. <laughs> for those of a certain age. Yes, with a certain age, you remember. So, yeah, excellent. And then obviously down in here, we will, can reuse all of yeah, this. Yes, you just collect in the corner, reload it. And go again. And go again. Brilliant. Yeah. Clever stuff. Well, as I say, this is two mil we're using at the moment. Yeah. Say they you do get, you get up to six, ones. I, I was going to say, how long could you go using with a static? Um, four. Mm. Four, I think four's a little. I'm not 100%. I can't remember without looking, but, you know, uh, depending on the size of your mesh yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, if you've got a wider mesh, you can get more out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, I think probably three or four. Mm. And then you're manually putting it in after that. Yeah. You know, you're making your own clumps. But as you say, then you can put tufts in. You can put your tufts in along the grass and yeah. Like I said, just, just so it's not so uniform and looks a bit more wild. Mm. And again, that adds a bit more texture, that word again. But you, you, you know, you get the gist. Mm. No, definitely. I must admit, as I say, I don't know why, but I expected it to be a lot harder than that. Mm. But the effect you get is really, really good. Yeah. Because um, I say, I've used the mats and the various yeah. things, and that's two dimensional because yeah. they're flat. Yeah. Um, but as I say, with this, because you've got the height into there, the light catches it as it would. So, no, very interesting. Also, as well, obviously, we're working in 48 mm. um, with this. So you've got to think of scale effects yes. as well. If yeah. you're working in 35th or, or larger, then obviously, mm -hmm. you, you know, you can, you can move up a gear. I would probably go for two and three with this for yeah. the scale. Yeah. If we're three mil here. And then you can obviously add, like I say, some of the longer tufts manually. Yes. Um and obviously environmentally as well. Yeah. If you were somewhere like, you know, as you say, out in the sticks, it would yeah. be longer grass. If yeah. it's an airfield, it's going to be mowed a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. Nice. Very good. So what we'll do, we'll carry on getting some more of this on. Yeah. Around the back there and everything. And we'll come back to the next yeah. stage. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, too. So back again. The static grass is now dry, the original uh, layer. So we're going to move on now to some sea grass, which comes in these beautiful... Solid. It's been made by a dung beetle. As Phil says, it's been made it by a It does look beetle. like a dung beetle has made it. it. I was going to say, it does what it looks like Is as well. Is this rhinoceros's finest? Yes, it could be, because it's not really funny. 
you know, that's basically all they do is go around like yeah. the Serengeti and scoop up poo, Deliver it all. which is made yeah. of grass anyway. Yeah. So I think someone's conning here. It's a, it's a solid, <laughs> it's a solid bit of grass. But the good thing is, we, I've decanted some here, as you can see. So you get your individual sort of tufts, I suppose, or you can, you know, strands. Mm -hmm. Um, it's plenty of box. It's going to flick everywhere. You can see it. it looks like a so, furball. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So <laughs> what you basically do, you get your tweezers and you can pull clumps off. Okay, as you can see that, and then you just dip them in glue and plant them. So, being sort of a natural product, they're all different sort of lengths anyway. We'll get a few bits in here, and then we can make our own clumps up. And then, with a nice pair of sharp scissors, you can just trim them. If you've got two, you know, if it looks a bit out of scale, obviously, a bit of pruning. Yeah, you just got to be obviously careful. You just don't make them all sort of uniform. Because that will look a bit odd. So we'll put them back in there. So yeah, the AK, these AK seagrass balls, I think you get, like I say, a couple of balls and they can last you for ages. Oh, yeah. Let's be yeah. honest, depending on, on that. Done, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And depending on what you're doing. So we've got a little tub of oh, it be better, it? little tub of white glue. I'm going to put my windows on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to grab a tub of this. And then what you do is Snip off the bottom, all the loose stuff. Mm -hmm. Dip it in your glue. So you've got a good blob, like you're going to make a, your own sort of static grass. And then what you do is you just plump it into place. Very nice. If I just. Okay, if you want to zoom camera, in, yeah, it's actually, in the corner. Just you just pull it towards you a little bit. There you go. You can start to see. Can you see it? So it's a, no. Yeah, I know it's not the sort of best thing to see. Hold on, let's do another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit fiddly, but it's not. So we'll just put a bit up here. I don't know. It's weird to put it. Yeah, pick a spot, Phil. Pick a spot. Right, we'll just put some in there. Now we can put some longer tufts around it. It's a good tuft. Okay. Same as the other static grass, all the loose stuff anyway. Just fall away naturally. And then we can trim that down. So that's a bit better. You can see that, can't you? So. So it's any white glue that you see they will dry mm -hmm. and we'll just trim that back so we can just randomly you know put some along the grass add a bit more variety to the hmm. vegetation yes yeah nice and again all this is going to be sprayed anyway so they'll all blend in in the end so yes very nice yeah okie dokie so we can carry on putting a few more of these in well, then you can me. Have to play yeah yeah me yeah you can practice I'll be tweezers well, beyond, beyond my favourite. <laughs> right, while well, your window's on. That's right. I've got these ones. These will be fine. Right. Okay. So, so grabbing a noggin. A, a, a tough full. Yes. Yeah. Long as the bottom's pretty flat. Hence the scissors. Just trim it. Mm -hmm. It's a bit, bit gnarly. So we can zoom in. Dip it in and stick it somewhere. Dippy dippy. Mm -hmm. It. Cool. Good. Excellent. Yeah. I make grass. Very nice. As I say, what I'll do is I'll take some detailed shots of these as well. I've just yeah. done a little video as Matt was doing it. Yeah. And then I'll, you know, you'll be seeing that now anyway. So yes, very nice. So it's a bit time consuming, but well worth it. It's all part of the process. Yeah, isn't it, it is. Yeah.
and obviously you're thinking about where the foliage would be and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like you see, well. the hard thing is obviously your brain tries to sort everything out and you want it random yeah like nature does yes um but again if you've got different like static grass like unfortunately we've only got sort of uh, the two mil mm. the the longer grass is a bit more easier to plant because it, it mixes in with the longer static grass if that makes yeah. sense so yeah. it's um yeah no, well, again, for what we're doing here, it'll be more than, you know, because mm. we could chop that down anyway if it looks a bit out of place. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, yeah, so there you go. Very nice. Right, well, we'll carry on with this one, get the rest of this one down, and yeah. then what's next? Painting it. We're going to get it. going to get a good coat of dark brown on it, really mm -hmm. dark brown, get it all uniform so all this is all the same colour, and then what we'll do then is paint the static grass mm -hmm. first Yeah. because there is going to be overspray. Um, there she is. <laughs> And then we'll do the groundwork, so all the soily bits in between and all this pot down here. And then last off, we'll be adding the pigments and the thick wash that we're going to use, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Great. Okay. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So we've been outside and I just rattle canned this. What? I thought we'd been sunbathing. <laughs> well, you have. <laughs> <laughs> tell I'm tan. Working on his tan. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it's... Uh, Black, it's a little bit glossy there. It was gloss black, but it doesn't make any difference yeah. what we're doing here, does it? Um, so yes. So oh. now, okay. or if you've got it, a dark brown, or a dark brown. If, you, if you're lazy like we are, aerosol can. If not, just a dark brown. Yes. Uh, Mahogany colour. Mm -hmm. Job done. And we'll get, get it all uniform. Yeah. And then from now we're gonna. It's gonna. He is not me. Okay. He's going to paint the grass. Paint grass. He's gonna paint grass. Yes. So to start, which ones were you using first? These two. Or was it the other two? Uh, XF26, use the darkest green. Right. And then we'll go lighter and, you know, near yeah. the top of the grass like yeah. it would do. So we're XF26, gonna... and what we do, we're going to do this area at the back and we're just going to paint the grassy bits. Yes. The grassy node. Yes. So we're going to be using acrylic white, so we're not putting any lacquers into this because we want to eat the we just don't want way it. through. Yeah, it should be okay, but again, we have got some cracks, so we don't want anything seeping through and melting the, uh, melting the stuff underneath. No. And really, if you use acrylics, you know, then you you're going to have no issue whatsoever. No. Right. Okay. So let's grab that airbrush. Did we clean this yesterday? No. No, we didn't. Of course, course we did. Of course we did. You do that. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of what's in there. What did you say yesterday? I know, but it was very light. Oh, I can't, that's bad, isn't it? I can't remember what painted yesterday. But time's flying doing this, literally. Oh, you're doing your um, silver. Oh, your... yeah, it's the silver. Yes. Yeah, better clean that then. But you don't have... want metallic glass. Well, yes. you can have, yeah. Exactly. Sparkly grass. Yeah, but definitely sparkly silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, hang on. Let's get a second flood. Just in case. Hey, we don't want metallic grass. Right, okay, so green. Green, green grass. Quite thick mix, we thinking? Not really, no, not overly thin, just normal, 50-50. Right, okay. Yeah. Right, so. Pops. Okay. Mixing pots. Mixing pots. Because we could tint that, you see, to lighten oh, right, it with okay. yellow, so. Fine. You know. Mixing pot. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is just X20A. When was the last time you sprayed with that? No. Instead, it's it all mixed up properly. Yeah, totally. Got a good shake. Shake it, shake it. Right, okay. On to the old cutting mat, so I'll do it here instead of in the spray booth. Yeah. Uh, we need the clean brush though, because I can't use that brush. Where did I brush go? I've lost the brush. <laughs> probably have used it for screwing. <laughs> probably. Yeah, hold on, I've lost the brush. Um, let's not really borrow this one. I'll we'll only have a wash on it. Nice mix. Give it that. Okay. Into third colour cup. Pull some back. And there we get silver grass. Yeah. 
metallic green grass. Sorry, where's my kitchen bag gone? Down here. Sorry. Okay, so we just check our flow. Height. Let's crank that right back. Better. Right. Okay. So anywhere that's got grass. Yeah, overspray don't matter if you're going to get on soil because we're going to paint after anyway. We'll touch them, but yeah, mm -hmm. get all the grass. Is that a? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, absolutely. All the all the long grass as well. This is just the base layer. The base green. Do you know, I never knew you could spray this. No, I never thought until seeing somebody do it. It's like, oh, that makes sense. I mean, you don't have to have to spray it. But I think again, it just adds a lot more variety because you can uh, tint it and mix it and yeah, you know, tweak it to your own taste, I suppose. Yes. For, for, for a better word. already it does doesn't it yeah <laughs> yeah that's there it looks really good yeah make sure you get the longer tops and make sure it's covered all around you know this way you need your lazy susan mate yes. well, I've got one. I, I have got i've got a couple but i think this is going to be too light for it yeah yeah because obviously there's no weight to this face so i think it might yeah Lovely juggler. All right. Mm -hmm. So next step is if you um got your mixing thing. Yes. Drop some yellow in it, lighten it up a bit. Right. Okay. A few yeah. drops of yellow. Yeah, yeah. don't go mad because we're just going to gradually, gradually lighten it up. Break it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. You can do that. Okay. Our oh, flies back again. Yes, I've heard. Bit lighter. Yeah. So, so. Better. Look at that blast. We can always get lighter, can't we? Yeah. Um, so obviously, right. Mm -hmm. That's going to be natural shadow. Yeah. So stay out of that for now. You yeah. can give it a coat, but I'd go down mm -hmm. so it just catches the top. Obviously, this is going to be lighter here because if you're going for the, you know, yes. the sun. Mm -hmm. So if you just, you know, think about that bit, yeah. and you can just use that as your uh, as your natural shadows mm -hmm. to your advantage. You know what I mean? So. so so it's going to be the high sides. It's going to be the high sides and these top bits here, and then kind of you can you can hit this don't because mm -hmm. we do want a bit of something happening mm. but when we go really lighter right. obviously we'll avoid you know avoiding that crevice there because that's going to be just natural shadowed anyway so you're gonna you know you're gonna hit your top parts your high bits yeah right. okay so yeah. just just gently mm -hmm. and just blow it over the top that's it and it the Really, the long tusks because they are going to be obviously lighter. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, just, just. Bit so, more. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. I mean, we are going to lighten it, but mm -hmm. you know, we do want to keep a bit of shadow in there. Mm. So we blast it. That just blast it. That way. That's it. And then, and then, like up. Oh. That makes it other like yeah, other grass like the tops of the grass. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, go again then. What lighting again? Lighting, just keep going. Yeah, we want it quite, you know, summery light. I think is the word. I think we could push it a lot more now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My back, you reckon? Or a bit lighter? Got a bit lighter than that as well. We have about 20 mixing cups going on because it just keep like yeah. tipped a bit and you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And I hit the tops again. Oh, yeah, I need to thin just a little bit in here. A bit thick. A bit thick. I feel it while I'm spraying it, it's beginning to chunk a bit. That's better. That's better. That's a bit more vibrant. Mm -hmm. yeah, with a needle seating issue. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, middles again. Yeah, yeah, same again. That's it. And keep that the way from the bottom and we'll keep it because it, we are getting lighter now so mm -hmm. try and keep a bit of natural shadow you know I mean? yeah just um, stop a minute mm -hmm. okay, yeah it's on the screen yeah you're getting more Gradients from yeah. from the original dark to the light, yeah. which is what you want. It's a lot more random than mm -hmm. just static grass straight out there. Yeah. And also, I think what it's done now, it's actually put it more into scale. Yeah. I know we were talking about it's got quite yeah. a little bit of nylon -y sheen to it. Yeah. Now that's all gone, it seems to be a bit more scaled. Yes. So with the longer bits, just try and hit the tops if that makes sense. You want to keep the much darker at the bottom as you can. Yeah, shadow on the bottom. And, and, and them in here as well. It, 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 so you can see them, you know what yeah. I mean? Otherwise you just get lost in there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, once you put the earth tones on, this will change again because obviously you're going to get black. Yeah. So once we get like an earth colour down, you, you'll really see that. Because I mean, you can go backwards and forwards and tweak it to what you want. Yeah. As long as you've got a base layer on. Yeah. So that'll do. That's pretty good. Nice. Yeah. And again, keep going. What, lighter again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're really, really vibrant. Very good. We can do vibrant. Pour it in. Yeah, get it in. Plug it in. Okay. Yeah. Fine. XF4 on its own as well, which is yellow green, is also a really good colour. Yeah. For especially dried grass. Mm -hmm. There you go now, we're talking vibrant. Right. So again, pick your spots. Because you don't want it sort of uniform. Yeah. You know, especially the lighter tuff, uh, the longer tuff's going to be it with that. And then, uh, you know, a few other, a few other bits. Mm-hmm. Right now we're vibrant. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. How's that? Looking good. Look, look in the. Uh... Look on camera. Yeah. Looking really good, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, actually. <laughs> Is that really surprised every I, time you do this? I am, this? I, I am. That's it. The more and more I do this, the more I actually, I am surprising myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And then you could go as far as you want with this or as not. Yeah. I mean, always a good judge as well or a good marker mm -hmm. is that actually put the, whatever you're doing mm -hmm. is back on because then you can gauge if it all flows and actually, I don't think that's too bad. No. I mean, we could always, Go again if you want a bit more on the top. Mm -hmm. which I would probably, if I'm honest, is I don't think you can probably go any more. You you could, but it might be pushing. It might be better to change out the colour and put a bit of XF four in. Right. Yeah. But on its own, I think. Yes. Um, because that's if you just show that on camera what you've got there. If you wanna, mm. that that is, you know, you can put a bit more yellow in it. But, yeah. But no. And then this will just give that really light top. Yeah. Sort of dried. I mean, you can also use as well um, XF60. Yeah. Um, or even 57 to a point, I think, mm -hmm. looking at the numbers. for it. But you, you're just going to be hitting the tops and it would naturally just be yeah. a little bit drier up there. So mm -hmm. I sound like a bloody grass Bob, expert, Bob don't I? Ross here. <laughs> yeah. no, but then this is a bit more sparing because obviously it's quite... Potent, you can go a lot there, if any. Thin that out of you. Idiot. Idiot. Gonna have to go through my paints. You are gonna have to go through See your, what we've got. Yeah. You are, definitely. Yeah. Okay. yeah, right. So, we'll grab that out of the way a minute. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so sort of just, top, tops of everything. Yeah. That's better. Yeah. Especially the longer grass, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and around the top, will you? More on the flat areas. Yeah, it? yeah. And, and, you know, then bits down the bottom, I think. Ooh. That's fine, so we're going to yeah. get a place in the sit here anyway, so it's mm -hmm. not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Looking good to me. Alright, okay. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. Nice. Does look the part that. Mm hmm. It's cool on camera. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't it? It does, not it? So you've got, you know, the dark to light. Mm hmm. What you going, if you think about the, the just the static grass that we've put down, yeah. it was uniform. They were just all the same, you know. I yeah. know we mixed two different colours, but it was very similar. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we uh, park out Tempest back on there, whichever way. Mm hmm. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. So, next, fill in the earth. I'm sorry, reaching over the can there. So, clean that out and then we'll get some earth tones down. Yeah. And dark to light is the uh, golden rule, isn't it, apparently? Okay, okay. 